Okay, so I'm checking in with another DIY project. A couple of videos back, I did a haul where I showed a jewelry box that I had bought. And I said I was going to do something with it. Well, that's what this video is all about. I don't know if you remember what it looked like before, but this is what it looks like afterwards. Did a darker stain on the wood, and I added something to personalize it and make it a little bit more unique. So if you want to see how I pulled this off, just keep watching. So what do I need for this project, Blue? Let me tell you. Number one, the jewelry box, okay? You can find these at swap meets, thrift shops, even a yard sale. A lot of times people just don't use these things and they get rid of them. And usually they're in pretty darn good condition and you can get them for pretty darn cheap too. So you will need a jewelry box. The one I'm using is wood. You're also going to need a picture of your choice. This is one of those projects that you can easily personalize. I used a picture that I printed out from my printer, but you can use uh, magazine clippings, you know, pages from a book, any kind of paper material works perfect for decoupage. And that's exactly what I did here. So yeah, find your picture. Then if you're going to do the wood, you're going to need a wood stain. If you choose to change the color, I wanted to go darker. I didn't really like the whole mahogany wood thing going on. So yeah, I went with stain. This you can find at your local hardware store. I got mine at Lowe's. Uh, also, uh, you know, it was like three or four dollars, something like that too. You're also gonna need a sponge tip brush for the stain too. Uh, this brush is only for the stain. Do not cross contaminate it. <laughs> also, to stick the picture on the jewelry box, you will need the actual decoupage glue. Now, there's a few brands out there. This is the one that I chose, and I actually got like a huge bottle because I figured I would use it for other projects. But they have littler bottles that, you know, are like maybe three or four dollars. So you can find those fabric store, craft store. You're also going to need one of the sponge tip brushes for the glue, too, for the decoupage glue. One of these things is really handy to help push down the picture onto the object that you want to attach it to. But you can get away with just using your fingers. Just be very careful. Pencil comes in handy when you mark the outline of the picture before you glue it down. Now, I did it that way because I didn't want my picture to, I didn't want the ink to run. So that is why I chose to do it that way. So the pencil comes in handy. You're going to need an old rag because you end up putting the stain on the wood and buffing it out. And an old rag that you want to throw away after this project is done. This project is very messy. Newspaper is your friend. Also, do it outside. The fumes from the stain is like, they're so strong. Definitely need to do this outside. Not only because of the mess, but because of the fumes, okay? So that's it, that's all you need. And some time. 